Hello everybody, this is Rudra here. Welcome to BMD lecture series and today we will continue with the prescriptive analytics and that to the coverage on, on linear programming problem. In the last lecture we have we have highlighted you know the kind of you know problem structure, the kind of you know linear programming model and the kind of you know uh, solutions the way we look for the optimality and we will continue uh, you know uh, uh, from this particular you know last lecture and uh, in this last lecture we have the problem like this and then we like to look for you know we like for the optimum solution corresponding to these problems and then uh, we have a structure like this that means technically we have three constraints corresponding to the objective functions and then here we are actually having three different constraints and uh, adding all these three constraints we have actually five different you know uh, corner points and then we are looking for the optimum solutions that means technically we like to know which particular corner point will give you the uh, efficient solution or optimum solution as per the a particular you know business requirement. So, now uh, while searching for you know optimum solution, so we have actually structure called as you know extreme point approach. Uh, it involves you know the kind of you know the coordinates of each corner point that borders the feasible solution space and then determining which corner point provides the best value of the objective function. That means by default it will give you the kind of you know various alternatives and one particular uh, option will be the best as per the particular you know business requirement. If a particular problem has no optimum solutions uh, uh, you know uh, then you know uh, uh, the constraints may not be actually having a I mean some kind of you know inconsistent is there. So, if a problem has an optimum solution then at least one optimum solution will occur at a corner point of the feasible solution phase. So, that means, if the all the constraints are you know consistent then obviously, so we will have a actually kind of an you know, optimum solutions, but uh, if the if uh, if you see think that you know there is no optimum solution that means, simple message is that you know the constraints are, constraints are not you know consistent which will address in the later stage, but in the in the meantime in this particular problem all these things are you know very consistent and as a result we have already got the feasible zones and within the feasible zones we have the kind of you know various uh, you know corn, uh, corner points and then we are looking for the particular you know solutions which can have the optimum value. So, in the case of you know extreme point approach, so uh, uh, graphically actually uh, you know what will you do? So, every corner point will give you the you know tentative values of the decision variables. So, now we like to put all these values of the decision variable to the objective function then you will check where the values of the objective function will be at the uh, uh, highest value you know uh, accordingly that will be the kind of you know solution. Okay. So, now corresponding to the previous you know uh, uh, you know uh, discussion. So, here you see uh, uh, this is actually the one particular corner point and uh, in this context. Uh, uh, the values of the x 1 and x 2 are uh, you know 0 0 and in this case uh, this is one corner point where uh, x 1 is having a positive value x 2 equal to 0. This corner point where x 1 is 0 x 2 is having positive point. Now, this is one corner point where actually both x 1 and x 2 will be positive and this is another corner point where both x 1 and x 2 will be positive. So, that means, what should be the exact point between you know uh, uh, this point and this point that depends upon the uh, uh, intersection of you know two straight line that is two constants. So, that means, this, to, uh, uh, this is a kind of you know uh, uh, corner point where the storage constraints and the assembly constraints are you know uh, intersecting each other. So, as a result, so these two equations can be simplified and then we can get the values of you know x 1 and x 2. So, after simplification, so x 1 is coming 5 here and x 2 is coming 8 here and uh, in this case uh, in this corner point. So, this is the intersection of you know storage and inspection and uh, uh, once you solve these two equations. Uh, so, we have here x 1 equal to 9 and x 2 equal to 4. So, that means, 
so uh, so we have we have one corner point let's say uh, posi uh, you know uh, this is the corner point so uh, the first case so we have actually 0 0 and the second case we have x2 equal to x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 10 and third case we have x1 equal to 11 and x2 equal to 0 in the fourth case we have x1 equal to 5 and x2 equal to 8 and in the fifth case we have x1 equal to 9 and we have x2 equal to 4. So, that means now this is the you know summary sheet uh, uh, which we can have from this particular you know uh, graphic approach. So, that means technically so this is one corner point, this is another corner point, this is another corner point, this is another corner point and this is another that means out of all these five so one will be the uh, final optimum solution so corresponding you know first case we have a, a x1 equal to 0 so that means technically this is x1 uh, and this is x2 so these are the values of the decision variable x1 so, and these are the values of the decision variable for x2 and this is what the combination we cannot have the option 0 10 or 0 8 like this of course there are you know plenty of option here but uh, here the ch particular choice will be the kind of you know combination. So, that means technically either uh, uh, either you choose 1 or you can choose 2 or you can choose 3 or you can choose 4 or you can choose 5. So, that means technically uh, you have to choose a particular you know option. So, if you choose 2 then by default so x 1 equal to 0 and x 2 equal to 10. Uh, you know no way you can take 0 here and you know 0 here so, or uh, you know 10 here and 11 here. So, with the process we have actually obtained this particular you know um, you know uh, summary sheet. So, that means out of uh, you know all these 5 cases one particular case will be the final optimum solution. So, now which one which particular case will be the final choice as per your as per our you know requirement that exclusively depends upon our you know z value. So, that means technically, so we we like to you know find out z values corresponding to case 1 where x 1 equal to 0 and x 2 equal to 0 and uh, again uh, you go to the x 2 we find out uh, z value where x 1 equal to 0 x 2 equal to 10 and again so we go to the case 3 where x 1 equal to 11 x 2 equal to 0 and then we, we like to have a z value here and go to case 4 where x 1 equal to 5 x 2 equal to 8 and then we can find out a, a z value here for case 4 and then in the case 5 we have 9 here in the case of x 1 and in the case of x 2 we have 4. So, we can have the z value. So, now uh, 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 you, you have to just check all these you know z values and where the z value is the highest that will be the case uh, you know uh, which you can declare that you know optimal solution. While, while searching for optimality and uh, uh, we can say that you know the optimum solution can be addressed in two different ways. One is called as you know economical optimal uh, uh, optimal solution and you know social optimal solutions. So, that means technically uh, means uh, uh, you know we like to know what is the actually difference between the economic optimum and social optimum. In the case of you know economic optimum, so profit is the prime goal. Uh, we have no you know kind of you know issue whether we like to go for you know only one kind of you know production either x 1 or x 2 and uh, we like to check you know which particular combination having highest profit only. So, that means let us say in this case either we can go for you know x 2 and then x 1 can be 0 and uh, in this case either we can go for x 1 and x 2 can be 0. So, that means technically uh, this 0 0 cannot be the proper combination because where there is no x 1 no x 2. So, this cannot be the you know uh, efficient solution or you know optimum solution for any kind of you know business uh, you know uh, problem. So, this can be a possible solution, this can be a possible solution, this can be a possible solution, this can be a possible solution. That means, if you skip the case 1, so we have 4 option and out of the 4 options the first two that is the case 2 and case 3. So, this is called as you know economic optimum provided z should be a you know highest value compared to other option. If you if you choose the case 2 then you know z should be a, a z should have you know high value compared to case 3, case 4 and case 5. Similarly, if you choose 3 
then z value should be a, a, a you know high compared to case 2 case 4 case 5 by default a, you know case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 z value is a high compared to case 1 because in the case of you know case 1 x 1 equal to 0 and x 2 equal to 0 and uh, obviously uh, in in these four cases 2 3 4 5 so if z will be a, you know for the case uh, you know case 2 or you know case 3 so then you know it is called as you know economic optimum where we are actually going for a kind of you know one one production and uh, skipping the other one and if you uh, you know compare with economic uh, you know optimum to social optimum uh, this you know 4 and 5 can be the right choice where both x1 and x2 is the operative and then uh, provided uh, you know means we can choose that particular combination provided z value should be highest compared to other option for instance if you choose the case for then the z value of case for should be uh, should be uh, uh, higher than case 2 case 3 and case 5 and again if you choose case 5 then z value of case 5 should be higher than to case 4 case 3 and case 2 obviously it will be higher than to case 1 so that means uh, you know, finally, we, we have no idea which one is the right choice that actually depends upon the z value, but altogether uh, uh, if, if the optimum solution will be uh, either 4 or 5 then this is called as you know both economic optimum and social optimum, but if the final choice will be either 2 or 3 then it is called as you know economic optimum not the social optimum because we are actually. Uh, uh, considering only one production and skipping the other uh, other productions. Ob obviously, since it is a kind of you know uh, mathematical modeling and uh, through technique or through software we are the we are looking for the solution and uh, uh, the software or algorithms will be operative as per the objective only. But you know it is you to you know uh, uh, you know find out the kind of you know structure or you can uh, give some kind of you know compromise. Uh, so that you know uh, the profit objective can be actually maintained and then uh, you know, both the products uh, of you know production can be operative actually this is uh, this is what the you know kind of you know uh, uh, long run kind of you know business requirement but ultimately the final solution depends upon uh, you know not only the uh, values of the objective functions uh, you know uh, in the same times uh, it, uh, we can also look for the kind of you know business you know requirement so that means uh, it, it it should not be you know uh, you know uh, strictly economical so uh, you know uh, provided uh, if there is no kind of you know uh, kind of you know strict kind of you know condition conditionality is there otherwise you look for the kind of you know optimality or you know the kind of you know optimum combination where all the values of the variables should be in a kind of you know, operative positions, but ultimately it is a kind of you know, mechanical process and uh, 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 depending upon you know your you know problem inputs. So, the algorithms or you know the software will give you the output, but now in order to bring the best as per the business requirement it is you to you know uh, adjust the particular you know, systems. In fact, you know optimization structures uh, there is lots of you know flexibility through which you can actually change the particular you know. Uh, requirement and then we, we can actually find out a situation where we can actually uh, address the business problem more effectively. Sometimes you know if there is no uh, kind of you know strict uh, decision about the particular you know objective function then we can have a some kind of you know compromise policy, but ultimately the you know it depends upon you know uh, you know business to business or you know the kind of you know uh, particular you know problems. So ultimately means technically once you co you know connect with these problems and we have a, a various alternatives then you think about the kind of you know optimum solution which is the economically you know acceptable and socially also acceptable. So that is depends upon you know uh, means actually that is the, uh, depends upon the long run kind of you know requirement and the kind of you know sustainability kind of you know requirement in the business environment. So let us see how is the kind of you know. Z values and then finally, uh, how is the kind of you know uh, means what is the kind of you know final corner uh, solutions or the optimum solution for this problem. So now corresponding to whatever we have already highlighted, so again it is in the streamlined process here. So what I have mentioned, so there are you know 
5 different uh, corner points A, B, C, D, E and obviously 0, 0, 11, 0, 9, 4, 5, 8 and 0, 0, 10 and uh, uh, oh, uh, how determined actually it is a kind of you know, inspection, inspection then this is what it is called as a simultaneous combination, simultaneous uh, equation combination and inspection that means technically. So, that is how the kind of you know, uh, uh, you know this is very beautiful way to you know address the kind of you know, situation. Uh, if you look if you you know uh, if you ask for you know uh, kind of you know suggestion or the kind of you know justification I think you know C and D is the more attractive kind of you know uh, position uh, means attractive kind of you know solutions provided Z should be highest and and uh, the business will be a kind of you know in a kind of you know more you know a, you know uh, accurate position. So, that means actually uh, our job is not to get the optimum solution you know, but uh, uh, in the same times it should be it should be in a kind of you know effective kind of you know uh, uh, you know structure through which you know the uh, the business problem can be addressed more effectively. So, now uh, uh, which one will be final choice then that depends upon uh, 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 you know uh, z values. So, our objective function uh, you know so, uh, that means technically. So, these are all uh, possible values of the decision variable, but the objective function uh, coefficient is here z equal to 60 x 1 60 x 1 plus 50 x 2. So, which was actually already highlighted earlier. So, that means, so every times you put actually x 1 value and x 2 value then check the uh, you know uh, z value. So, for instance uh, for corner point a x 1 equal to 0 x 2 equal to 0. So, obviously, 16 to 0 plus 15 to 0. So, z value is 0 and again so, uh, at corner point b x 1 is 11. So, 16 to 11 and x 2 equal to 0 means 15 to 0. So, obviously, so 660 and then again. So, the option c x 1 9 x 2 4. So, 16 to 9 15 to 4. So, 740 and similarly for d 16 to 5 and 15 to it 700 and then again for e x 1 equal to 0 x 2 equal to 10. So, obviously, 15 to 10 500. So, now if you compare all these you know possible values of the z then uh, c is the right choice and uh, in fact, uh, you know, my personal suggestion is that you know c is the best because it is not economically feasible, it is also socially acceptable uh, both the combination are you know operative and I think uh, this is a uh, you know best combination or you know best management decision which you can make. Uh, since you know uh, uh, we are getting directly uh, you know from the uh, objective function and the ki kind of you know constraints. So, that is why we have no uh, you know uh, additional kind of you know thought process you know you can apply here, but uh, in some instance you know uh, a, a since it is a kind of you know mechanical way of you know getting the optimum solution. So, there is a high chance that you know the optimum value of uh, optimum value of z is at the highest level where uh, only x 1 will be there, x 2 not uh, will not there and vice versa can also true where x 2 will be there, x 1 is will not there, but in that case it is a kind of you know challenge actually. So, it is not that you know uh, what mechanical process will really give that you have to just accept, but uh, in the meantime you have to think actually the kind of you know reality and sometimes we do little bit you know compromise uh, as per the particular you know uh, requirement and the kind of you know. Uh, need uh, as per the as per the particular you know business is concerned. So obviously, so this is how oh, this is what the a kind of you know uh, extreme point solution and then uh, so what what is actually called as you know isoprofit line approach. So te te technically the objective function is called as a isoprofit line and uh, the constants are called as you know isoquants and we are looking for the optimum solution which can satisfy the isoquants and the kind of you know uh, business need. So, this approach directly identifies the optimal corner point. So, only the coordinates of the optimal point need to be determined. So, that means technically just after getting the you know values of the decision variables then you know you just you know uh, combine since it is a kind of you know linear combination of these decision variables. So, you know once uh, since the parameters are you know available and uh, the x 1 and x 2 are reported then accordingly we can just you know add up and combine then we will think uh, means we will get the kind of you know values of the z and then we think about the kind of you know solutions. So, that means actually the 
parameters corresponding to objective function and you know the constant is a kind of you know mm, you know big deal or you know big issue through which you can get the values of the decision variable. Actually, the kind of you know model is the two objective function and constants. So, we are you know pu putting the objective function like you know z equal to c 1 uh, x 1 c 2 x 2 subject to constant x less than equal to b or x greater than equal to b and x greater than 0. Uh, in the prescriptive kind of you know uh, structure uh, prescriptive analytic structures. So, the parameters values are you know uh, available where you are looking for the values of the decision variables. So, that means technically uh, uh, you know means in reality the particular parameters are usually obtained from the uh, you know descriptive analytic structure uh, sorry a kind of you know uh, predictive analytic structures Ob obviously descriptive structure and predictive analytic structure will give you the these parameters value and that too it is obtained through the kind of you know uh, data structure and that means information uh, uh, you know availability using the information and the kind of you know model predictive kind of you know model then we like to uh, get the kind of you know parameters value and once you get these parameters value and set the objective and set the constraints as per the research availability as per the business requirement then uh, we are looking for the kind of you know uh, values of the decision variable which can be very optimum as per the business requirement and uh, that too with respect to constants and you know conditions that means uh, it should be consistent with the both constants and condition and then uh, 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 the particular problem can be addressed effectively uh, as per the business requirement so now uh, uh, to more about the particular you know structure here the particular constant will be profit structures and then uh, with respect to objective function just you check and then finally you come with a kind of you know uh, solutions right so this is another way of you know visualization means technically again you know like you know predictive analytics here the problem is also having alternatives and again uh, we we always look for you know more and more alternatives by uh, you know changing the structure and you know setups and then finally you freeze a kind of you know situation where you know the particular you know uh, problem will be more uh, uh, you know effectively address and the management decision can be uh, taken into considerations so likewise uh, uh, you know now to summarize you know the kind of you know graphic structure about the objective function approach so, so first you know step is you know uh, grab the constants that to you know the inequality constant you transfer into equality constant then you know draw the straight line and then apply the particular you know constant to know the uh, you know the feasible zones whether it is in the left side and the right side to know the kind of you know means that is with respect to research availability and that is why it is called as you know identify the feasible solution space and set the objective function equal to some amount that is divisible by each of the objective function coefficients and after identifying the optimal po point determine which two constants uh, you know intersect there and substitute the values obtained in the previous steps into the objective function to determine the value of the, value of the objective function at the optimum. So, that means it is a, a means a, it is the kind of you know uh, uh, some uh, you know summary through which actually we start the process uh, or initiate the process and then finally freeze the uh, optimality and that is how the kind of you know structures and uh, to know more about the particular structures so you know we like to you know compare the kind of you know optimization that to minimization structure and maximization structure and uh, in fact you know the problem which you have uh, address uh, you know in a kind of you know uh, uh, structures how to analyze uh, means how to start with the you know issue how to you know finally freeze the kind of you know uh, requirement and uh, uh, obviously it was you know uh, maximization problem and uh, now uh, uh, the structure is like you know uh, minimization to maximization and in the case of you know uh, minimization the look is like this uh, you see here and uh, uh, this is what the objective function and uh, uh, this is a maximization type where you know most of the instances or you know the uh, uh, usual or normal framework is the constant should be less than type so that you know very easily can 
get the a kind of you know optimum value, but in the case of you know minimization uh, it is actually the feasible zone will be in the right side of the game that is actually usually greater than type and then we are looking for the minimum point uh, in the corner solution like this. So, uh, means technically uh, so it is a two different uh, you know uh, you know ball game altogether and uh, in the one side uh, means objective function with maximum maximization type we like to have the system where the visible zone should be bounded in nature so that you know we can easily get the optimum solution. But in the other case in the minimization type uh, it is you know easy to have the upper bound structure and then we look for the minimum point uh, as a result we can actually get the optimum value very easily to address the business as per the particular you know requirement. So, that means typically so this is a kind of you know comparative kind of you know structure how is the look of you know maximization structure and how is the look of you know uh, minimization structures and ultimately whether it is a maximization structure or minimization structure it is not you know arbitrary choice or it is not a kind of you know artificial kind of you know requirement. Uh, it it all together depends upon the particular you know business problems and the business objectives corresponding to the business problem business objective we have to uh, we have to actually prepare or you know design the objective functions and then you know optimize as per the particular requirement whether it is a maximization type and the kind of you know, minimization type. For instance within a particular you know business problem some of the uh, you know variables or values of the decision I mean decision variables will be like you know uh, you know with respect to profit or the kind of you know cost and the kind of you know revenue. So, if the target is with respect to cost then obviously we assume that you know the objective function needs to be actually minimized. For instance, uh, you know another in another instance uh, if it is a kind of you know profit then obviously we, we like to uh, you know have a the structure that you know the objective function to um, objective function to be you know maximized. Similarly, in the case of you know revenue then the kind of you know structures need to be actually optimized that to a, again um, maximization type and the constraints ultimately depends upon the a the particular problem and the kind of you know business environment whether the resources are limited or you know kind of you know unlimited what is the minimum requirement or what is the maximum capacity or maximum availability like this. So, these are you know the kind of you know uh, you know kind of you know structure through which actually linear programming uh, linear programming structure can be addressed can be analyzed and then uh, use this particular you know model for the a solution of you know particular you know business problem and uh, in, in this context prescriptive analytics uh, you know has a kind of you know rule to find out a situation uh, as per the particular you know business requirement and the kind of you know management requirement. So, likewise you know so this is a another kind of you know sim a similar problem corresponding to previous problems that is the maximization type. So, this is a simple problem called as you know minimization type and uh, in this context so the objective function is the minimization type and uh, what i have mentioned earlier uh, if your objective function is minimization type and your constraint will be all greater than type then uh, it's very easy to get the solution uh, and it is actually the as usual general format of you know minimizations and in the counterpart uh, the maximization type the constraint should be less than type and uh, uh, corresponding to the previous problem this is actually a normal situation since the objective function is the minimization and we have all greater than constant. So, we can actually uh, you know easily get the solution and the structuring is very easy here and uh, uh, you know like the previous case first first and requirement is you make the constant into equality and draw the straight lines then apply the inequality that means uh, six for instance six uh, x six x one plus two x two equal to eighteen. So uh, obviously uh, put x one equal to zero or uh, x one equal to zero so we will have x two equal to nine and similarly put x two equal to zero then x x one equal to oh, x uh, x uh, x one equal to three so obviously we have a zero nine in one side and another side 3 0. 
So, now uh, you, you know you just uh, you know draw the lines corresponding to 0, 9 and 3, 0 and then uh, after that you know uh, you can actually apply the particular you know constant. For instance, let us say this is how the case. So, let us say this is actually 0, 9 means x 1 equal to 0, x 2 equal to 9 somewhere here and uh, uh, x 1 equal to 3, x 2 equal to 0 means somewhere here. So, now you draw the line here like this and since it is a greater than type, so see so the solution will be in the right side only. So, that means the optimality will be in the right side only that too with respect to the first constants. Again you apply the second constant, then you check the kind of you know feasible zone and again apply the constant 3 and uh, find out the feasible zones and then finally, uh, you club all together you know constant 1, constant 2 and constant 3 and again uh, after you know applying all these constants. So, it will give you the kind of you know corner points possible corner points where the uh, typical solution will be there and then uh, uh, take these corner points uh, to the kind of you know uh, objective functions. That means, every corner point you have x 1 value and x 2 value uh, may be x 1 0 x 2 uh, you know uh, uh, x 2 is positive or x 2 0 x 1 is the positive or x 1 0 x 2 0 or in case or in uh, you know uh, x 1 positive and x 2 positive. By the way x 1 and x 2 cannot be negative. So, we start with either you know uh, 0 0, uh, but in the case of you know minimization problems. So, the constant is like that. So, that you know x 1 and x 2 is not possible. So, obviously, uh, there are three different cases altogether either x 1 0 x 2 uh, is not 0, x 2 0, x 1 not 0 or x 1, x 2 both are you know positive. So, that is the possible you know solution in this particular problem that to in the kind of you know minimization type. That means, we have lots of you know flexible kind of you know situation through which you can address the problem and then look for the kind of you know solution. And uh, as uh, likewise actually you can act you can actually just visualize and then think about the kind of you know solutions. So, looking for the solutions, so uh, this is how the constant 1, constant 2 and then this is this is how the feasible zone. So, now here uh, here the possible you know corner points will be corresponding all these you know constants. So, you know this is what the constants and then you know the corner points possible corner points you know like this you know this could be a one corner point, this could be another corner point, this could be another corner point. So, that means there are three corner points here and here uh, it, it is actually x 1 is positive. Uh, and x uh, x 2 is 0 and x 2 is positive here 9 and x 1 equal to 0. Now, here uh, both x 1 and x 2 will be positive and that to solve these two constants and then get to know what is x 1 value and x 2 value. So, then take typically we have three corner point and uh, in all the three corner points you have x 1 uh, plus uh, you know uh, possible x 1 values and the possible x 2 values then which one is the finally, the optimal choice or you know optimal requirement that depends upon you know the values of the objective function. Put these values and get the uh, uh, you know uh, z value and then and that will give you the kind of you know uh, optimality. So, now compared to maximization problem, here uh, uh, you know the choice will be where z is the uh, uh, minimum one. So, because it is a kind of you know minimization problem and accordingly will really look for the kind of you know uh, optimality and uh, corresponding to the kind of you know three corner points. So, the possible structure will be like this and uh, this is what the uh, graphical structures the C is. So, 0, 9, 5, 0 and this is what the combinations and then finally, so this is case 1, this is case 2 and this is case 3 and obviously, like you know previous discussion the, these are all uh, economically feasible not you know socially uh, feasible. So, in this case both combination 1 and combination 2 are effective, but ultimately depends upon you know uh, where the uh, z value is the minimum corresponding to the objective function. Now, putting all these value we find here uh, you know 0.63 then this is actually 0 0.50 and this is 0. 0. 8. So, that means technically compared to if you compare you know z values in all these three cases this is the minimum. So, that means you know this will be the right choice and uh, here x 1 equal to the values of the 
decision variable for x 1 is 2.27 and x 2 is 2.19. This is the economically feasible, socially desirable and then uh, you know our problem is very effectively addressed as per the particular you know requirement. So, that means, we are lucky that you know co co compared to you know maximization type and minimization type. So, we have you know a kind of an you know, optimum solution where both the values of the uh, decision variable are positive and we have the you know of uh, you know z value uh, you know having you know high weightage or you know uh, high choice. As a result, uh, and this problem can be addressed more effectively as per the particular you know business requirement and then accordingly we can you know uh, take the management decision as per the particular you know requirement. With this we will stop here and uh, thank you very much have a nice day.